Hello friends. What are you gonna do with an extra $50,000 in your bank account? Well, I know I could do a lot with it. And that's the reason why we're shooting this video is to actually give you tips and the steps in building something that would give you $50,000 extra into your ice cream shop. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, it's Wilson here. Just want to send some love your way. I'm loving all these crazy comments and support that you guys are showing. So I really want to just say thank you. If you guys want to make sure that you guys get featured, make sure you leave it in the comment section below or just follow me on Instagram and leave me comments and I'll make sure to feature you. This propels me and gives me motivation to create more of these videos for you. So the sole purpose of creating this video is to show you to help you diversify. In the last few months, all the political unrest, all the pandemic really completely wiped out a big chunk of people who rely on just dining in service. And that's the reason why we want to show you different ways of diversifying and how do you add an additional $50,000 into your pocket. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. The six steps in adding an additional $50,000 to your ice cream shop. Step number one is to nail down your offer. There are many different ways to diversify, but if we want to gain traction, if we want to actually have people understand, we need to make sure that we work on that one offer so then that way we can focus all our efforts into creating something that works and then we can build our next avenue, then we can build our next avenue. For example, when we are brainstorming different ways to bring in additional revenue for our ice cream shop, we thought about catering, catering to banks, different organizations, different uh, businesses around our shop. That's one stream of revenue. We talk about different events, whether it be hosting our own events, drawing people from around our neighborhood into our shops or hosting events and hosting our service at other people's events. That's another stream of revenue. Or we can host in-person workshops, in-person workshops, teaching people how to, how to make ice cream. That could be another potential stream of revenue. Or we can actually put this whole experience teaching people how to make ice cream online. And that itself is another offer. So for you that is out there thinking about how do you diversify, we always want to start with just one thing and do it extremely well in order to bring in that $50,000 into our ice cream shop. The second step in adding another $50,000 in your ice cream shop is to identify your outline. After you have identified your core offering, let's say, for example, you want to be able to teach people how do you make ice cream in person as a workshop. That's your core offer. Now we need to identify the details and flush out this whole thing so then that way we know exactly what to do when that person comes in. We start with the five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. Who are we serving to? We need to identify who would find value in a workshop in person, whether it be a family wanting to in, enjoy some family time with their loved ones and their kids, or it could be a couple trying to experience something new. We need to identify who we're going to serve to so then that way we can draft the copy, the writing and the marketing material specifically to that person. Who, what? What are we doing? What are we selling? We're selling something, a three hour workshop on how do you make an ice cream that goes for $50 per person. Something along the lines of that, we need to identify it, we need to understand what we want to charge and all the details. So then that way we can see, does it match the market price? For a typical evening experience out there, what is the typical rate that people are willing to pay for that experience? Who, what, when? When are we doing this? Either two weeks from now, a month from now, we need to identify it. Having a deadline allows you to work backwards. Without deadline, this project can go on for weeks, and if not months, without any progress. Who, what, when, where. It's gonna be at your location, or it could be at a, a, a commissary kitchen that you guys uh, rented out. It really doesn't matter, but you need to actually allow people to know where for them to experience this whole journey. Who, what, when, where, why? Why are we doing this? You need to understand and identify why you're doing it. So then that way we can communicate this to our customers. You wanna be able to help your audience create a memorable experience and bring happiness to them. And that's the reason why you wanna be able to create this workshop for people to bond together and in return, they can enjoy ice cream and be happy. That's your outline. 
And lastly, we need to figure out how. How are we going to be able to execute this whole thing? By understanding and by identifying all the different five W's, now we can actually go through the logistics one by one and figure out how we can actually approach our customers, how we're going to be able to serve our customers, how we're going to be able to create this three hour lesson. It is only by us identifying the whole outline that would allow us to ask the right questions of how. And then that way you can identify everything and create a memorable experience for your customers. The third step is your minimal viable product. Now that you have identified your offer, you outlined the logistic, it is time to put this to the test. Get 10 different people that want to try out how do you make their ice cream and then go through your outline. Go through exactly how you want to be able to serve them. Go through the three hours of experience and throughout this whole three hours, a few key things that you want to be able to make sure you note down is areas that are exceptionally doing well. So for example, if by you telling your customers the history of ice cream and how to make it, and it's like really well received, then you know that's a component you want to keep within your curriculum. Second thing you want to note down is areas of improvement. Where can you improve on the whole experience if everyone is getting lost when you're explaining how do you make the ice cream, then perhaps that's an area of improvement that you should definitely be able to work on. And overall, how did this whole experience go? Note down the vibe within the room, note down what is happening, note down exactly how it feels, the environment. Are people leaving happy or is everyone super tense? You need to identify all these things. Now you may be asking, why do I wanna be able to take notes on all these things? It is because you wanna be able to keep refining until you have your MVP. And this is a product that you can actually sell. This is a product that you can actually put online for people to enjoy and allow you to reach the masses. Identify your MVP, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Keep improving on your offer. If you guys find any value whatsoever from this video, make sure you smash the like button because that just shows me this is the type of content you enjoy. Now let's dive right back in. Now that you've figured out your MVP, now that you've figured out the system of how do you create this exceptional experience, people are loving your stuff, then it is time to create your sales page. Why are we doing this? It is because there's only so much money and revenue you can generate from having and hosting different workshops. How can we digitalize this? How can we actually reach the masses of people out there that wants to make the ice cream? It is by putting it online, putting it on a sales page. What is a sales page? Sales page is simply put a website specifically selling one offer. What is your offer? How do you make ice cream? Put it that on this website. There are different tools that you can use, which we're going to put it in the description below. There are lead pages, there are click funnels, and these are really simple website builders that allows you to be able to build your own sales copy and your own sales page to the public. In your sales page, you want to be able to put what is it that you're selling, who is it you're selling to, how much is it, and all the details specifically for the offer that you're putting in. And in addition to that, you want to put in social proof, social proof of people actually enjoying this whole experience. And where do you get this social proof? Where do you get the testimonials? Well, that's the reason why we have different workshops that we have been running for months now. During these different workshops, it is your responsibility to gather people's surveys, get pictures from them, and actually have all these types of assets which you can put on your sales page to show the public how amazing your program is. And at the end, you would also want to have a wait list because you're not going to be forever running this uh, as a live event, you want to be able to show, push it online and which is the reason why you want to have a, a wait list. So when you're prepared and when you're ready to put this online, you can message these people and sell them this course online. And that's how you're going to be able to position yourselves in order for you to make an additional $50,000 for your ice cream shop. Now that you have a sales page, now that you have a website for people to come in and see what you have to offer, well, we need to be able to drive traffic to this website. We need to be able to attract people from the internet into your sales page. Now, how do you actually 
bribe these people from coming in. Well, in a typical one-on-one -on -one situation, you can give them 10% off, you can give them 20% off, you can give them buy one, get one free, you can run happy hours. But online, how do you attract people? Well, it is through something called the lead magnet. Think about it as a magnet that attracts people. Basically, you're creating something that is so valuable for your customers that in turn, they're willing to give their email to you in exchange for this lead magnet. Give you a quick example. For if, if we're doing a lead magnet for our ice cream shop, something like a 10 recipes, 10 best ice cream recipes that you can make at home. This could be a very well lead magnet for people who are interested in making ice cream at home because people are interested in that. It's valuable for that. And for them, they're willing to part ways with their emails in exchange for the 10 best recipes of ice cream. And that's how you're gonna be able to get that from, get that traffic online in exchange for their emails. Now you might be thinking, so what? Why, what am I gonna do with their emails? This is the only way you can communicate with your customers to nurture them in exchange for them to actually buy your course buy your online tutorial or your online three hour workshop on how do you make ice cream. That's how you're gonna be able to get that traffic by having lead magnets. Now that you've figured out your lead magnet, something that is attractive, something that is valuable for your potential customers in exchange for their email, you have a bunch of emails collected. What are you gonna do with these emails? You're not gonna tell them to come and buy from you right away. No one likes to be sold. No one likes to be sold. People like to buy. Now, how do you position yourselves in a way that people will buy from you? It is by always giving them value. And that, quite frankly, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm giving you value, I'm giving you value, I'm giving you value, and in turn, when time is right, then I'm gonna present you with an offer. Hopefully, you're gonna find it super valuable to a point where you're like, you know what? Take my money because it's worth the investment. And that's exactly what I'm doing, giving you value over value over value. That's what you need to do with your email list to nurture them, give them value, tell them what's the best uh, ingredient to put in their ice cream, tell them what's the best machine to create their ice cream, tell them what is the best uh, ice cream out there in the world, give them interesting facts, and in turn, you're gonna be able to nurture a group of really, really highly engaged audience that loves what you have to say and when the timing is right, when you have your offer completed, when you have this whole experience of how do you make ice cream all shot through the video and put it online, then it is time to drive them to the sales page for them to buy your course. And that's how you're gonna be able to create this whole funnel, this whole system in generating an additional $50,000 into your ice cream shop. A bonus section for you is to jazz it up. What does jazz it up mean? It means to always over deliver, always give more than what is expected, and in turn allows your customers and your audience to feel, wow, this is an amazing experience, just like how I am doing it right now, to give you one more bonus point, which is to jazz it up. Whether it be a bonus module, whether it be a giveaway, these are all great stuff that your audience is not expecting, but you give it to them in, as well. So then that way it creates a really pleasant experience for your customer and in turn allows them to actually refer your program to their friends and family. Another way to jazz it up would be for certifications. Why are certifications great? Well, for example, think about just one thing as an example with our ice cream shop. Let's say someone completes the whole module, they go through the three hour training at home to create their own ice cream, and after they completed everything, they get this ice cream artisan certification from Wilson. That certification, although it's created by me, gives them a sense of completion, gives them a sense of accomplishment, and in turn, it just pushes everyone's engagement and also their whole incentive much more greater and that happiness is much greater people's completion rate is much greater as well and in turn allows them to actually share with their friends and family and this is something that has worked extremely well by having certifications so there you go the six steps in building an additional fifty thousand dollars into your ice cream shop i hope you enjoyed this video 
If you guys want more of this, in the description below, we are hosting a free masterclass. This is an hour long training on how do you build a successful restaurant. We cover the three biggest mistakes that I've possibly made in my whole career. So in that way you can avoid the tens of thousands of dollars that I had to go and fork out. We cover it from the A to Z, the step-by-step -step process in building out a successful restaurant. So then that way you get the guidance and also the confidence to take action into building your dream restaurant. And in addition to that, we cover also how do you create a menu that your customers would love and that they will come back again and again. So you don't have to worry about that new guys around the block. Just don't need to worry about that. And people are going to be able to pay you premiums and how do you create a loyal fan base? So then that way they can buy from you again and again. We also cover how do you build an all-star team, an all-star team that actually cares for your business like their own. So much more stuff that we cover. That's the reason why this is going to be an hour long training. Make sure you guys sign up, get your spot right now in the description below. Otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.